Hello friends and welcome to day six of the Let's Get Blitzen cocktail admin calendar. Today, we are making a very exciting, very delicious riff on the classic espresso martini, which is having a real moment at the moment. So we are making a almond biscotti martini, which has many of the same ingredients as an espresso martini, but with the all important addition of Di Serono Velvet. This product was just released earlier this year. It is a cream liqueur with the same delicious notes you've come to know and love from the most popular Italian liqueur, Di Serono Amaretto. So you've got almonds, Madagascar vanilla, caramelized sugar, and then the cream base gives it a nice, long-lasting, velvety finish. Delicious on the rocks, and I want you to know that my mom has never been more proud of me than she is today, because Amaretto is her all-time favorite liqueur, and I remember when I was a kid, her enjoying a little nip of Amaretto on the rocks over the holiday season. So I will be making my mom one or two of these this holiday season. I am her only daughter, but I would like to still be her favorite, nevertheless. So let's go ahead and get started. In addition to your Di Serono Velvet, which is also good for sipping because it's a lower ABV, just 17% alcohol by volume. So something that you can enjoy for a longer period of time, if you so choose. You will also need Tia Maria cold brew liqueur. You will need cold brew coffee um, or espresso, vodka, nutmeg syrup, and three coffee beans to garnish. We are serving in a chilled coupe glass and we will be shaking this cocktail, mes amis. That is what we will be doing today. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get head over to today's post where I am co-hosting a giveaway with this Rona for an espresso machine so that you can have espresso at a moment's notice to make your almond biscotti martini or a little perk up in the morning, whatever you want, whatever you want. Ounce and a half of vodka into our shaker tin three quarters of an ounce of our Di Serono Velvet. You can keep this in the fridge if you'd like to enjoy it cool, but make sure you keep it stored below 25 degrees Celsius and use it within six months of opening. Just a quarter ounce of our Tia Maria cold brew coffee liqueur. And also a quarter ounce of our nutmeg syrup. I'm gonna need to make more. So many hours in the day, my friends. Ghost sugar is on the move again. Let's try to keep our nutmegs from sliding in here. Here we go, quarter ounce nutmeg syrup. An ounce and a quarter of our, see look, it's floating, it's making moves all in its own. An ounce and a quarter of our cold brew coffee or espresso. There we go. We're gonna give it a nice shake. Get it a little, get it a little frothy in there. This is the wrong lid. That's why that's not working. Throw your ice in your shaker tin. Put on your best toothy grin and give it a good shake. cocktail there we go our three if I had tweezers and I was feeling fancy I would go ahead and use my tweezers but I'm drinking this so I'm just gonna use my hands this little free coffee bean garnish on our almond biscotti martini you can pick up De Serena Velvet at the LCBO Cheers. Mm. I just know how much you're gonna love this and I can't wait to receive all your feedback. Singing my praises. joining me don't forget to head over to today's post and enter the giveaway to win an espresso machine 
thanks to my good friends at DC Women. Thank you for joining me and I will see you tomorrow for day seven. Thank you.